Hello! I'm going to show you some prototypes I've been working on. I'm really excited. I just finished this first lens that is actually not leaking. I've done a bunch that are leaking. But this one's great! This is like the first lens that makes me think that this could viably be a pair of glasses you could 3D print. Um, I can, you can see on the uh, on the board here, it's, it's definitely changing the, the focal length. I'm not sure how much you can see that on me. But uh, I'll do more videos on that. Um, but I just 3D printed the latest prototype and I'm gonna walk you through making it. So this is done in a few parts. Um, I'm gonna go over those with you, but there's a few parts that make this two-sided flexible sealed membrane, um, and then uh, this ring that presses and changes the, uh, the focal length. Um, I had a lot of different prototypes over here, so I started with the. Or actually, this was the first one I made. Um, you just used hot glue to seal the, uh, the lens on. It didn't, uh, it was kind of leaky and it, it used this hose. And I'm kind of trying to get away from using parts that aren't really easily accessible. Um, I, ideally, this would be something that anyone with a 3D printer can find some like trash plastic that is stretchy and fill it with a fluid like oil or water and uh, have a pair of glasses. Like emergency glasses, probably not like glasses you would wear every day. But if if you're someone who is who can't really function without a pair of glasses, then it would definitely get you going. Yeah. So here's some more. Uh, it took a lot of tries to get the tolerances right to where it uh, didn't tear the material I was using. Because um, when you when you press it in. It would often cut cut the edge, or it just would leak, and so it, it took a while to find a design that would like adequately squeeze in the lens and and not cut it. Uh, and I'm using this this silicone mat that's a uh, it's got two protective coating layers, and then it's this uh, fairly stretchy and somewhat durable. Uh, really clear silicone material. Uh, that's the part that flexes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scrape it off the 3D printer, the newest design. Take a look over here. So uh, I just made my adjustments in CAD from that last one I just made an hour or two ago. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through making this one. So we have all our different parts. This is the, uh, I call it the ring holder. Um, this one, oh, I'm missing a part. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I'm missing a part. So there's one, uh, there's one that goes on the inside and one that goes on the outside and then another one that goes on the outside to, uh, really secure it and make it make a nice seal but it uh, looks like I have to print another one so I'll do that here in a little bit. Okay uh, some of the parts need a little bit of cleanup um, namely these two have some little frayed bits and that might just be my printer over extruding on the first layer so I'm gonna clean those up real quick. All right, now I'm gonna cut myself some the silicone. And I'm leaving a bit of excess because it, uh, as it squishes in, it's gonna it's going to squish some 
out from the side. All right, so you have to find the the ring that is the inner ring, and it has a, a shape to it um, that looks kind of like this, where uh, one of the humps is closer to the one side, and uh, that's the side that's gonna be on the inside of your of your lens. So so as you're pressing down in the uh, the the side with the hump, the, the hump will be closer to the, the inside edge. So the, this hump will be on the right of this as it goes in. Yeah, I maybe cut that one a little too big, but that's good. I think ideally I would have this stretched out, uh, maybe by a partner or by some clamps. Uh, yeah, in fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Like I said, this is a dry uh, press. Um, my edge here is, is pretty good. If it was frayed or inconsistent, or if I printed it the other way to where there was uh, a sharp edge off the print bed, then I would have to sand that down with some pretty fine grit sandpaper. But uh, this is pretty good, so I'm gonna press it in. And uh, it is, it's okay to go from one end to the other, whatever you can do to get it in there, but just try not to uh, slice off an edge by pressing too hard in any one area. This one's pretty high pitched because uh, I got it so tight. Um, and then next we'll go over to the sink and I'm just using water right now. Uh, eventually I'll do this with propylene glycol and, and fill it with some sort of oil like propylene or oil like substance like propylene glycol. So for layer two, we're gonna do some funny business. Step one, get some liquid. Ideally, this would be an oil or propylene glycol, like I was saying, but for now, we're still testing stuff out, so we're gonna use water. Um, so I put the lens I already made right there. And now I'm gonna take this guy, this guy, Careful not to have any air bubbles. I'm not gonna do any weird clamping stuff because that sounds really difficult. Might make it way better, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna get it on there, go all the way around. Of 
Cool. Before I pull it out, I'm making sure it's all perfectly squished down. Seems legit. Okay, we got some sort of lens. So we just filled this with fluid. I'm gonna put the uh, the ring in with the, the lip on the outside. That's just to make it fit in there. Um, and then this, this is the, what do I call this? The wedge, because at, at one revision it was wedge shaped. But yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just get it in and kind of go around the edges and see if I can squish it on there. I might have to sand this down if it doesn't want to get on. Oh yeah, no, it's gone. It's gone. So you invented this yourself? Yep. Yeah, I just designed this in CAD earlier today. Oh. Or this this version of it. This has been like a, a week's worth of uh, revision, revisions and stuff. Alright. So that should be a static lens. Um, so this is one particular prescription lens. And uh, that's defined by the, the thickness of that ring that I stuck on the inside. So I could, I could pop this off, put a different size ring in there, and I would have a different prescription lens. So that's real. That's real. Wow, cool. Yeah, let's see. Here we could probably do some funny zoomy stuff. Oh! oh. Great! <laughs> Isn't that cool? That is cool. Anyone with a 3D printer could have glasses if they needed them. I need glasses. You need glasses? Yeah, I do actually. Well, great. Let's get you some. <laughs> All right. Are we good? Uh, yeah. Okay.